What's up? 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 What's
if they just would have been open to you, they would have been available to you. Like this connection could have went so much further. Somebody like like thinks about like where where life would be, you know, if they would have just been more open, if they didn't play these games. Um, for some of you guys, you was dealing with a player who kept putting you in competition. But with this commitment, it says when I think uh, when I think about my future, I see you. What's this worry? Somebody sees marriage. They see longevity with you. Worried is clarified or not for you. Yeah, undecided. So, some of this person was undecided about you. Okay? This person is worried that you feel like this person is not for you anymore. Um, this also, Sunsi, this was somebody who felt like you weren't for them. I'm just going to be honest. They felt like you weren't for them at one point in time. They was unbothered. Um, like I said, this is somebody who pretended like... This is somebody who I can't even say pretended because I, I'm picking up on the energy that they felt like they would be okay without you. Okay, somebody felt like they would be okay if you know you separate yourself, if you decide you ain't want to deal with them, they, they was okay with it. But something is hitting this person hard and they want to come back and kiss your behind and make things right. And, you know, um, Spirit is saying for some of you guys, it wasn't that this person, you know, thought you wasn't for them. It was just that this person was undecided if they wanted a relationship at the time or not. You know, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person didn't even communicate that to you. For some of you guys, you dealt with this energy that chased you down, okay? That chased you down, you know, um, came up as if they were super interested in you, you know? They wanted to get to know you. They wanted to be with you. They felt like you were the one. But when it came to, you know, when it came to their actions and you seen how they move, you realize that their actions wasn't matching up to their words. Yeah. Somebody could have a two-year-old or a nine-year-old. For others of you guys, this person um, let their pride get in the way of this connection. <clears throat> yeah, this is somebody who wasn't sure if they wanted a relationship or not. But but they came off, they came off to you like they did. But their actions... Uh, the actions wasn't matching up with the words. Okay, so this is somebody who said a lot, but they actually, this is given like a um, it's gonna be like a, a king of swords. They made a head over heart decision, like they they said a lot, but when it came to the action, what was the action? What's the empathy card, Holy Spirit? The empathy. I'm hearing this person never stopped thinking about you. person wasn't sure what they wanted they didn't know if they wanted a relationship or not yeah your choice and unsent messages somebody feels like you know with your free will you know you made you 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 made a choice to choose yourself because i see um focus on yourself you made a choice to focus on yourself but others of you guys um this person is has a lot of unsent messages, okay? Um, they were in several text messages, several emails, um, several DMs, but in the end, they chick chicken out. For some of you guys, this person is so stubborn, okay? They so stubborn, they just choose not to, you know, send these messages because somebody wants you to be the one to take the action. Somebody wants you to be the one to pursue them, and you're just not doing that deny you and divinely guide it yeah this is somebody who was coming towards you um who was once in denial about this connection but somebody can't deny it anymore they feel like they're being divinely guided to come towards you This is yeah, this is an energy like this this is not gonna be this is gonna be probably for one or two of you guys. This could be somebody who don't even believe in God, but now they believe in God because of because of your existence. That's gonna be for one or two of you, okay? Yeah, yeah, divine union. I choose you. I can't make it up, family. This is gonna be somebody who don't, you know, you know, could have went through a lot and said, you know, I don't believe in God. Or you could have met this person and, and you know, they were just they had their own beliefs, you know. Um Somebody, this is going to be for one or two of you guys. Somebody believe in God because of you. Somebody believe in God because of you, because of your existence. Somebody knows that God is real. They know that God is real because of you, just because of you. 
They know that. Somebody knows that you're highly favored by God. Somebody believes God because of you now. I'm telling you. I know what I'm feeling. Your, exi your existence is too much evidence. I don't know what you've been through, what you shared with this person. But it's, it, it's it just, I'm hearing like it's too much evidence on you. It's too much evidence on you that God is real. Mm, wow. Oh, sure. Commitment? Commitment, Holy Spirit? Yeah, dying love. Okay. Um, this person is trying to remain hopeful, but they feel like you're slipping away. They want to apologize. This person want to apologize for disappointing you. This could have been somebody who party a lot, hang out a lot. Okay. But this person fantasizes about you a lot. So let's see. Let's get Ian Sunseeds. Will of Fortune, Two of Wands. You changed this person. I'm telling you. I'm picking up on someone who once didn't take no action. They just said a lot. Now they want to take action. You changed this person. Yeah, page of wands. <laughs> you changed this person. I feel like God placed you in this person's life just to make this person a believer. Okay. Four of wands. Somebody could work at a car shop. Oh, something about cars. What is I keep hearing cars. What's the um what's this energy holy spirit that I'm picking up on? Somebody could be a mechanic. Or oh, somebody could really love cars. The Hermit. First card out. Seven of Swords. Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. The Lovers. This person was very defensive. You know, um, very guarded towards you. Yeah, because the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Because somebody was sneaky. They was being a player. This is somebody. If, this is the energy. This is somebody who will, who will come in and creep in, you know, get on your good side, and then with the hermit, it's like they ghost you. This is the reason why. Like if you hear from Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords with the Seven of Wands, if you hear from this person, they come in, you know, um, you know, with this flighty energy, they come in, they tell you, you know, all of these good things that maybe they feel like you want to hear, just to get next to you, and then they disappear. It's because this person was. Being sneaky behind the scenes. Being a whole player. Yeah. And they was guarded towards you when it came to this relationship. Because this person had hidden motives. Somebody could be like struggling to get by. This person could be having a hard time. Maybe somebody felt real abundant when it was in your energy and now they're not anymore. Give me more of this energy, the hermit. I heard they, <laughs> because of you, somebody is a believer now. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. For some of you guys, this person feel like you feel like they wasted your time. The hermit to the eight of pentacles. This is somebody who's a hermit. Um, they doing the work though. They doing the work. Okay, you change this person. Okay, I know you probably haven't heard from this person, Sun Seeds, or for some of you guys, you probably did. But for what I'm picking up on strongly, you haven't even talked to this person. You don't know what's going on. This person been working on themselves. You changed this person. I'm telling you, you changed this person. You was placed in this person's life to change them. This could be somebody who was non-committed, who didn't, who didn't, who didn't know if they want to be in relationships or not. You made somebody who literally was like always constantly making head over heart decisions. Didn't really want to be in a heart space. You got this person in a heart space. They could have went through a heart shock or awakening. Okay. Because of you, somebody wants relationships. Somebody wants to love. They've been doing the work. Somebody feel like they let a, a good thing get away. Yeah, they feel like they let a good thing slip away. Give me one of this energy, Holy Spirit, the Hermit, Eight of Pentacles. 
the Hermit, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. I'm telling you, this person been healing and Hermit working on themselves. But a lot of you guys, um, yeah, the Death card, there's some type of change here. You change this person, I'm telling you. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you could be standing your ground. You could be you could be very guarded. <clears throat> Three of Cups. This person wants to reconcile with you. <clears throat> they want to reconcile with you. Nine of Wands to the Moon card. It's like who you sharing your time with, who you sharing your energy with. This person, the reason why they were so guarded with you and hit hit their feelings, this person, um, let me see. You may call it on the moon, Holy Spirit. What's this moon energy? There's three of cups. Um... Somebody want to reconcile, but there could have definitely been a third party interference as well. Okay. What's the moon card? The hangman. I feel like somebody is um, letting go, surrendering, surrendering, allow, allowing themselves to feel. But it came after something was over. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody felt like when they was with you, they was able to laugh. Life was sweet. Yeah, they feel like they was able to laugh. Life was, life was sweet. I feel like with the Moon card, somebody is like doing some type of self-improvement. Um... Yeah, this person is getting enlightened. I just don't like the fact with the moon card to hang me. Somebody could have been trying to like keep someone stuck. Okay. Have it keep someone stuck or have them waiting while they out here acting a fool playing these games. And somebody realized that you're not staying, you're not gonna be stuck to somebody out here playing games, partying, having a good time, and and you know, what's the hangman in the moon card? Somebody could have thought you was gonna sit around and wait. And have you stuck? Nine of swords in reverse? Yeah, you're you not in your head. For a lot of you guys, you enlightened to this person that was just trying to like... Waste... Because you could feel... I heard earlier, you feel like this person wasted your time. Wasted time, you cannot get back. Some of you could have been in your head about this situation, Sunsteeds, before. Maybe you didn't know what was going on because it's like somebody would say one thing to you, but it was no action behind it. You really couldn't pinpoint exactly what this person was doing. But the nine of swords in reverse, I feel like there's you, you, you got, you got clarity, you know, after you came out your head, it's like you got some type of proof. You hear them sirens confirmation. You found out what this person was hiding behind the scenes. I can't make it up. Ace of Swords, Spirit said that's the truth. You found out what the person was behind. You realized that somebody was even trying to keep you stuck. And it's like keeping you stuck until they're ready for a commitment. That's not fair to you. Now somebody acting up. They acting up. Now that you're going, they acting up. They don't like it. A lot of you guys been focused on work, healing. Minding your business, been in hermit, and this person is wanting to come back because they don't, they don't know. Somebody don't know what's going on. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, you been look focused on yourself, okay? Yeah, I feel like you, uh, whoever you are, you're a healer, someone who's very generous, someone who's very humble, someone who's very grounded. Also, a social butterfly. Somebody want to know like who you giving your energy to, who you talking to, because you ain't talking to them. Queen of Cups. Somebody find Queen of Cups to the Father Swords. Somebody find out somebody else loving on you or you loving on somebody else. It will make them very jealous. Okay? Yeah. Emperor. 
Mm. Somebody want to run things back with you guys, like run things back. Like, uh, uh, I feel like a lot of you guys are very guarded towards this energy. You stand enough for yourself, okay? Um, a lot of you guys with the Eight of Pentacles, you guys have been focusing on, you know, career, working on yourself at this time, and that's just that. You guys been in solitude. It's it just whoever this person is, they must you must was really, really, really close with them. With this three of cups, like really close with them. Well, they know your every move. They know everything about you. I'm hearing you was the one who had this person back. You was the one that was pushing this person to do the things that they didn't want to do. Wow. What's the commitment? Commitment. Eight of swords. Somebody in their head. Why they in their head about this commitment? Because they feel like you don't want this anymore. They feel like it's too late. Four of wands. They feel like it's too late for this relationship. Page of cups. They want to apologize. Knight of wands. Yeah, queen of cups, two of cups. I'm telling you. So now this person is ready for a relationship with you. Now they're ready for a relationship. But somebody is in their head because they feel like you're not going to forgive them for when they was being a player. Knight of Wands. When they was keeping these secrets from you. What's the Knight of Wands? Ooh. King of Pentacles and a Magician. A lot of you guys are manifesting at this time. Some of you guys, you might be putting love on a back burner and just focusing on you. What's the Knight of Wands energy? What's the Knight of Wands energy? The Temperance. Mm. This person wants to balance things out. This person feels divinely guided, divinely led to you. Yeah, this person, this person could also see you as a guy. Yeah, somebody is viewing you as an Earth Angel. What's the the Temperance? Four Pentacles. Yeah, they want to hold on tight to you. Somebody is seeing you act like some guy, an angel, okay, an earth angel. Somebody, I'm telling you, that's the truth, the Queen of Swords. Somebody believe in God now because of you. Somebody, it, I heard earlier that it's, I don't know what you've been through or what you share with this person, but it's something about you that is evidence that this person believes that God is real, okay? Somebody knows that you're heaven sent the chariot. The cherry speaks all about moving forward, success, victory. <clears throat> Ouch. The cherry energy, Holy Spirit. Spirit said that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Susies, I ain't playing with y'all. You know what I'm... Somebody feel like you trying to sneak away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody feels like you trying to sneak away from them. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Seven of Swords. Somebody is in their head because they feel like you trying to sneak away from them, or they feel like you got away. Okay, because the Seven of Swords, um, the Seven of Swords, it, depending on how the cards is lined up, it could be somebody who's withholding. So you could be withholding your energy back from this person. But the Seven of Swords represents like a, a, a enemy, um, someone who's very manipulative, but very deceitful. Also someone who um, lack conscience, you know, someone who's sneaky, you know, very tricky. But I feel, but like I said, the Seven of Swords, depending on how the cards are lined up, the Seven of Swords is also about withholding. Okay, somebody feels like you being sneaky, you getting away, you withholding the information. You ain't, you ain't nobody in your business. Nobody, you, you ain't got nobody. Nobody don't know what's up. Okay, yeah, you focus on your abundance, the will of fortune to the ten of pentacles, the ace of swords. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like you withholding from this energy. Yeah, the tower, the eight of cups, to the death card. Things change since you want to walk away from this person. I heard things change since you went away. Things change for you went away. It's like somebody is mourning the death of someone, but the person is still alive. Somebody is literally mourning the death of someone who's no longer in their life. 
And it's the star card to the world card to the nine of pentacles. I can't make it up. This person view you as a star, someone who gets a lot of attention. Also someone who's um, very inspirational, who was very inspirational in their life. Someone who's a healer. Someone feels like a... Somebody could be watching the star card to the world. This could be like world now. Somebody could be watching you on the globe, on 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 the online, across the world. Someone could be a big star that's watching me. That's known across the world. Nine of Pentacles. This is a single energy. Nine of Pentacles is doing it by yourself. Single, independent, self-sufficient, hardworking. Someone who got everything from out of the the ground. Okay, by themselves. Hard work. Yeah, but justice is here. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. When it comes to delays, somebody slowing you down, that is over with. You're getting justice. Something is happening for you in Libra season. This is Libra season. Okay? Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. There's some type of success and victory that you're getting. Some type of wish. Your breakthrough is here with the Ace of Swords. Give me a card on the Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit. Ace of Swords is clarified with the Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody was trying to like hold what the heck? Block your happiness? Keep you stuck and stagnated? Nine of Wands is a, is a wounded warrior. Somebody was constantly going through things, being held up. Going through things over and over. It's like having, having to always have your guard up. Nah, somebody don't know. The, yeah, four pin the queen of pin. You somebody is choosing them. Somebody is choosing them. What's the nine of wands energy? The nine of wands is clarified with the queen of cups, the empress. Look at you. Look at you. The bomb feminine beer. Mama Beer, someone who's very abundant, um, someone who's um, you know, who, who has a lot of stability, also someone who's very beautiful, very creative, very nurturing, divine feminine energy you embody, male or female. This is the energy that you're in. Yeah, ace of cups, the sun card, ace of wands, three of cups. <laughs> You get a new love. You get a new love. There's a lot of self-love around you. A lot of lot of love, a lot of self-love. The sun card is the best card in tarot. You get a new beginning. So whoever this person is, somebody else is thinking about you in their head. But this is what this is what you got going on. This is what you got going on. Mm. Yeah. I feel like you someone who been through a lot of spirit and just like, I just want to give you your break. I can't make it up. Spirit, like, I just want to give you your break. Yeah. Somebody about to get everything that they've been missing. Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, the High Priestess. You moving in, you moving in secret. You moving in silent. You ain't got nobody in your bed. You ain't telling nobody nothing. Okay, and if they think they know something... And they, they, they off, okay? You throwing them off because you want people out your business. You're moving in silent. You got a good thing going on with what you got going on. <laughs> you got so many great, great blessings that's coming in. Somebody been through a lot and spirit just like, I just want to give you your break. But it came when you released someone. And whoever you released, and you got it came out your head about. Now this person in their head, somebody feels like, you know, they worry that it's too late to make things right. Somebody feels like they did too much. Okay. If you call this person right now to pull up right now, they are coming. Okay. I don't care where this person at across the world. Okay. They are coming. This car didn't even belong in this deck. Somebody wants to come in and get your butt. Okay. Let's get you some signs and close it out. I love you guys so very much. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. Sunseeds. First card out is Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio.
Scorpio, Gemini, Okay, we have Capricorn. We have a Libra. We have Cancer and we have Aquarius. Okay, I love you guys so very much. Again, anything you need to know about me, Sunsees, will be in the description box below.